Miss Sutton, you say you believed you were in an exclusive relationship with Mr. Smith until you got pregnant and discovered he was living a double life. You say the defendant has denied your daughter, Kaylee, and you are in court to prove he is your child's father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Smith, you and your mother say Miss Sutton is a pathological liar whose list of sexual partners extends well beyond just you. You admit to having two sexual encounters with the plaintiff, but say your relationship was anything but exclusive. What do you mean he had a double life? Him and his other baby mama were together when he was supposed to be with me. Like, he was staying with me, living with me. I used to see him every day. He used to come home every night. And then all of a sudden, when I get pregnant, it's an issue. When I post my picture of my ultrasound, when I got pregnant with my daughter on Facebook, I tagged him in it, and that's when she messaged me, and she told me who she was. By my understanding, when she was pregnant with their daughter, he said he, he wasn't with her. He said he would just want to be there for, for the baby, and that was it. Then all of a sudden, when I get pregnant, he's with her. So is that true, Mr. Smith? No, ma'am, that is not true. What is your side of the story? Well, I first met LaQuay. I mean, Miss Sutton. First, I met her through my cousin. You know, we chilled, we kicked it off. First time we had a sexual encounter, you know, we met at my auntie's house. We stayed, you know, spent the night with each other, had our first sexual encounter. So I, after we had sex, I had went out of town to Cleveland, Ohio on a, on, on a vacation. It was on the 4th of July, and she called my cousin's phone and something like, um, is DJ around you? And she gave me the phone, and she was like, uh, she said, oh, I'm pregnant by you. I'm like, you pregnant by who? She's like, by you? I'm like, hey, you lying. You gotta be lying. I'm like, what about Jimmy, Joe, and John? You see? So you knew for a fact she was sleeping with other people? Yes, yes. Were you, Miss Sutton? No. You have been denying my baby from day one. And from day I... one, when she looked just like you. Ain't nobody in my family got no big forehead like that. That baby looks just like you. Even your partners on the street on Fabric say that she looks just like you. Yeah, I, so I know they will, because every me. time they look so around, Ms. you Sutton. posting a picture. Every time they look around, you posting a picture. Look at him. Look at him. Wait a minute, Mr. Smith. I want to understand this. She's posting pictures of what now? Me and, and the baby. You know, telling everybody, oh, look, look, this is his baby. He denying my baby and all this. And then they think, you know what? Look up. You got a picture with your baby and another dude beside each other. That is my husband. It's a family picture. A family picture? And she really wanted me to be in that girl life. That day that I called her and said, hey, I'm finna come up there. You want me to come up there and pull up on you and see the baby? No, uh, no, uh, my mom said, if you come up here, she don't want to have nothing to do with me and my baby, so you might as well stay there. Then she gonna say that. She tried to give me a free DNA test. Okay, and you tried to give me a free DNA test. Child support. He did not show up twice for a DNA test. So, what that saying All about right. you? Cause All right. if I was a man, if I know a baby wasn't mine, I'd be the first one up there to take a DNA test. Point but blank, you know period. You so ghetto, point you so period. ghetto Tanya, and so messy. this ain't got nothing to do with you. He, 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 I did it see it with you. Hold on, let's get some order. Let's get some order. So, you see, she like, messy like that. She messy like no, that, No, because y'all. this is between me and you. I don't have my mother standing here because my mama ain't got nothing to do with it. Miss Sutton, after you told him you were pregnant, what did he say to you? He said, all right. And then from that moment on, did he participate in the whole pregnancy at all? Come to any doctor's appointment? Oh, no, my mother's was, was my baby father my whole pregnancy. And then when you went to the hospital, he didn't come? No, I invited him twice. Then he just... So kept... why didn't I then come, though? What you told me not to come okay, up here at the hospital, you had to have an ID. You just got an ID, DZ. Man, it doesn't matter. You, my mom could have. I, I, I don't I, have I, time I, to deal with you. If you man. don't want to do for Katie, then don't do for Katie. Because my daughter's well taken care of. Been in school since she was six weeks old. She is well taken care of. Look at her. She well taken care of. Ain't missed the meal. What do they got to do with anything about missing a meal, bro? Like, I'm talking like, about the DNA. All right, baby, then bro. how come you didn't take it when, when man, it was on, free? Man. And I'm sure going to take a picture of the DNA. 99.99999. Nine, 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 nine. Your Honor, Miss, Miss Sutton is not telling you that uh, she done slept with my family members, husbands and baby daddy. And I caught her with one of them. We have tried hard, very hard, to get along with this girl. She has slept with one of my family members, both of her baby daddies, and when I was staying with Miss Sutton, I came home and caught her in bed with one of them. Okay. And then the same how she said that's supposed to be my... Hold on, just re- hold on. Just recently, hold on, re- hold on. Just recently, she just stopped fooling with one of my family members' husband. Okay, but the least is in my name, isn't it right? 
And you, the lease was in my name, but you were staying okay, with me, Tanya. Okay, Miss If I can have somebody on there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I pay that rent. I pay the rent. You got, I you pay the bill. She ran off on $500. All right, all right. Hold on. Let's name, get I'm some gonna... order. Miss Sutton, I want to give you a chance to respond. She's making some serious accusations. Are you sleeping with multiple people in her no. family? Me and the person that she say I was sleeping with, I did not start sleeping with since after that my daughter was born. He was my boyfriend at the time. So anybody I'm dealing with is going to make sure me and my kids are straight. I don't deal with nobody that don't us upset my children. Point He's blank. Been everybody's here. boyfriend. All right. Well, he was what well, he was mine then. You bought and, him. You bought and, him. And, uh, you bought him just like you buy trying to buy my son exactly. and everybody else. Exactly. What do you mean? He's, He's a trying to day. buy them. All you gotta do is buy him some cigarettes and some beer. Ladies, hey, um, and he'll stay. One at a time. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Your yeah, Honor, let me tell you what my mama mean when you say she say bye bye. Okay, every time I got incarcerated, Leah, me, me, me and Laquay, we was never in no boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. Yes, we, yes, we did have a sexual intercourse with each other. So every time I done went to jail, yes, I done called Laquay. She think that, yeah, cause she put money on my book, money on my phone when I get out, she, she feel like I'm obligated to stay with her cause what she done done for me behind the wall. Come on, yeah, cause you done spent that money, that's on you. I just don't yeah. want you to start but a sentence he... with every time I go to jail. <laughs> cause he done, cause hey. he done went your honor. He has went, and then every time he come home, he comes to my house. If he's not with me, she why me. are you? Why are you coming to my she house? She buying me, your honor. I get oh. idea. Come get this hundred dollar in this phone, baby. I'm on the way. Yes, she does. <laughs> I'm on yes, the way. Yes, she does. Because my family member, her husband and baby daddy, she was dealing with. She did the same thing. Listen, listen. If that's the case, it's. I'm getting it now. Ooh, even though <laughs> y'all give me a headache, but I'm getting it. I want to understand from you. It's your position that Mr. Smith is not doing enough for Kaylee and is denying her... He has never done nothing for her. The whole three years of her life has been me. A child looks for their dad. They know their dad. They she talk... knows him. Does she call him dad? Yes. <coughs> Every time <clears throat> I show him a picture of her, like, I don't... You know, I hate him. Like, just to get that clear, I hate him. But if he would want to be in her life, I wouldn't stop him. Because my daddy has been in my life since day one. My mother and father are still married. I have had a two-parent household all my life. So I know how influential having a father in a girl's life is. So I would never take that away from him. If he'll call me and be like, let me get Katie. Oh, where you at? I'll, I'll uh, bring her to you. I don't like him. I don't like him. I want nothing to do with and him. So look, the don't that... Hold on, hold on, hold on. He saw my daughter for the first time when she was four weeks old. So you didn't see her until she was a no, month old? No, four weeks old, he came up to but my house. But now she's three years old. That's a lot of time. Have you tried to reach out to Miss Sutton and yes, see... Yes, Your Honor. Just, just, now, fact, just, fact, now, just now, just, just now, just now, for this. Just, just a minute. now. No. Just a minute. No. Just Not now, Tanya, you, Tanya, you, you lying. Tanya, you, you lying. We, I love Kaylee. No, I you don't. I want to know if she's my granddaughter. No, you don't. Because if she's my granddaughter, I want to treat her as is. I'm not gonna deal with her. That's what I'm not gonna deal with. Her deceitfulness, her lies, her manipulation. She's horrible. She screenshots, she puts it all on Facebook and when they're not looking. Out of my family. She's done it to my she's done it to my family members, uh, husband or boyfriend, or her, their baby daddy. And when they're over there, she screen secret screenshot, put it all on. Well, on don't me. talk to me and don't come around me then. But you know what? How about, about that? Why are you how, nasty? How about that? I'm being nasty because I've been doing this for three years, Tanya. That's not you raised two boys by yourself. So what? So you know how this oh, is. Yeah, I so I don't come at me with that. You all up in his business. You oh. are acting like you went under him. <laughs> Why? Because you want to? Yeah, that's no, what it I is. No, I don't want okay. that that's nasty thing on me. That's what it is. Let's get some order. That's what it Ms. is. Miss Sutton, um... Boy, I, she had, Ms. Like, Ms. She Sutton. Had girlfriend or something, Ms. like... Sutton. She wasn't in there Ms. with Sutton. Miss Sutton. Sutton. I'm trying to understand this frustration with this family. I know it's been three years. You say you've been doing this all by yourself. No help. I can see that they don't believe that Kaylee is Mr. Smith's. What's really going on, though? Because you so... No, let her, let her talk. Just let her talk. Because she's screaming at the top of her lungs, trying to be heard, and I want her to know I'm listening. He does for all his other kids, but don't do for mine. 
That's what I want to know. He does for all his other children and don't do for mine. You know how hurtful that shit is? Nice, yeah. Did you see that on social media and Facebook? His other baby mama tagging me in pictures of him holding his daughter and don't, and don't even want to take a picture with mine. As a mother, that hurts. I'm doing the best I can to stop being so, so no. Because you're acting. You yeah, you up. Yeah, no, yeah, for one yeah, day, yeah. it's my child, Tanya. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that little girl. She didn't, she didn't do nothing to you. I'm not. She didn't do nothing to you. I talked to and her last Ms. night. Miss Sutton, Miss Sutton. All right, and don't try to talk like you all hate me. on me when you been hitting my phone all week trying to you, be you, nice. You been you calling, calling me. Call you been trying to be cool. Like with the judge. Like, I'm just so tired of them. Not to each other. That's enough. I'm tired of them. If, 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 when, when the DNA test was up, we need to get joint custody. He had his time, I had my time. That's it. I don't want nothing to do with him, his family, all the, all that messy stuff. I have moved on. But listen, what, what, and this is the part that is troubling me in this moment, is because I can tell you have a lot on your chest, and whether they're saying you're acting or what, I'm listening. Because I want to understand how a young girl at 26 years old gets this angry. You're too young for that. You make yourself sick. Because he's the you deceitful. Screaming? How they say that I'm deceitful. He deceitful to me. That whole time, I wish I could bring you them letters when, when he was incarcerated. Cut. Tell him that they Stop talking. Love me and how he want to be with me and my baby. I brought my baby down to the jail to see him. All this stuff. Who wants to bring that baby to a nasty, stinking jail? I don't. I loved him. I loved him with all my heart. And for him to deny me and my child, like, that's something serious. Because okay. he's lying to his family, lying to the other baby mama, lying to his mama. Now, I just wanted to understand where this was coming from, and now I do. Mr. Smith, I want to give you a chance to respond, but I just ask you to do so respectfully. Yes, ma'am. Did you realize she loved you? Yes, I did. I, I did. I, I realized that. And, you know, yeah, I played a part in two because I was lying. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 she knew that I was dating somebody else, and, you know, I, I was staying with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And... Yes, we had sexual intercourse, you know what I'm saying? I don't, know, I don't know if she done caught feeling real deep for me and she really want me to be with her. But, like, my heart was always somewhere else and I ain't never want to try to have my cake and ice cream and eat it, too. Okay. When you up there in jail and you ain't got nobody to talk to, you talking about she putting money on your books? I practiced criminal defense law for a long time. I know what it means. I know you need... So, hold on. And I'm also no fool because I've represented enough young men and young women where I know the manipulation that comes behind it. Because you ain't got nothing to do but sit up in there and wait for the time you get to talk to somebody. And then when you do, you're probably telling her everything she want to hear and that money is coming on them books. See, mama ain't no fool. I know what you did. But while you were entertaining her somewhere as hard as she is and as messy as she is and as petty as y'all say she is and everything you all say she is, she still fell in love. She's just a girl. So I get this. Both of you all have a part to play in it. Because, Miss Sutton, I'm going to tell you, that level of crazy you get to, everybody going to be backing up. Because you, you take it there. Yeah, but but that's because you're hurt. And that's why I asked you what's really going on. What about how I feel, too? I'm, I'm, I, after today, I'm going to lose a seven-year relationship with my family. This, this girl done, done harassed my baby mama and my, my family so bad to the point where, like... So your girlfriend says she's going to leave you if this child yeah, is yours. Well, all that well, down the drain. Like all that go single. down the drain today if the results come back saying that this is my baby like you, Everything that like I just built with my... With okay. This girl is going down well, the drain. all I have to say, and I'm not saying this to be mean, but it's the truth. Kaylee's three years old. If she's yours and you were in a seven-year relationship, why in the world were you miss with Miss Sutton? <clears throat> I mean, these are consequences. It's hard, Mr. Smith. No one asked you to sleep with her unprotected. Yeah, you're right. Ugh. So now, all we can do is get the results. Yeah, that's all. Ron, yeah. the envelope, please. Yes, ma'am. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Sutton versus Smith, when it comes to three-year-old Kaylee, I'm more Sutton. 
It has been determined by this court. Mr. Smith, you are the father. Can I see my baby? Oh, thank you after three Can I see years. My baby? Three years. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, son. Three years. It's okay. All right, Mr. Smith. I'm gonna see my baby. Three it's okay. years. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna see my baby, bro. Okay. I'm sure she wants to see you, too. That's my granddaughter. Mr. Dansby, you're petitioning the court for a DNA test to prove that the defendant, Ms. Simpson, has been lying in her claim that you are the father of her three-year-old son, Tenoris. Now, Ms. Simpson, you're countersuing Mr. Dansby for child-rearing expenses in the sum of $3,361.56, which is half of the money you claim to have spent on Tenoris. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Dansby, why is it that's taken you three years to petition the court for a DNA test? Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Um, the reason why it took three years, ma'am, because Ms. Simpson, she, she, she had been lying to me she had been, it was so much shade. She had another dude who she was dealing with. I mean, it was one particular really? morning I had caught. No. What it was that I had been trying to get you to do a DNA test, but you chose to run. You didn't want to go to the child support place to do the DNA test. Is that true, Mr. Dan? So, ma'am, that's not true. Ms. Simpson, she had been lying. I had doubts about this kid, Tanaris. If this so much as my son, she have not let me see. I, have, I don't even know the kid. But I mean, how? Went how can I let you see him and so when the, I can't find you? The you, you knew where I was. You, you got in I don't know where you at. Facebook. You don't stay in one spot. So you, therefore, how can I on. find you? You got in contact with me through Facebook with one of my okay. family. Okay. Mr. Dansby, let me ask you this, though. What effort have you made to try to get I had, the DNA well, test well, done? Well, well, Your Honor, it was times where I had reached out to Ms. Simpson. I had got in contact with Ms. Simpson through phone. If it was so much as my son, why, why, why haven't you brought the kid around me? The All right. kid, Carol, another Why man, should like, I have so to bring you let, I want to understand this relationship more, and, and I can see right now, nobody made enough of an effort to get a DNA test, but that's why you're here today. Yes. Um, so take me back. All right. This relationship, okay. how did it start? Man, we met through a mutual friend. She moved me into her home but she was staying there with her other two kids. Miss Simpson had another man who she was dealing with. When you met her, oh, explain. Okay, what happened was, it was one particular school morning. I was getting her kids ready for school. Okay, I got them on the school bus. Miss Simpson was taking a shower that morning. I just so happened caught the phone call. It was another dude. He was shocked to hear me. I don't like recall I that him. phone call. I and don't later, recall later on, I had, me, I had talked to Miss Simpson about the, the strange phone call. And she told me that it was the dude that was paying her phone bill. No, okay. no, no. So I'm lying on you? Yes, you are lying. I caught the phone call. You but, told but me the about the you're dude. You're lying. You told me about the dude. Well, well, Miss Simpson, how do you know he's lying if you don't remember the conversation? That's how I know he's lying because I don't recall of it. If it was the truth, that I remember. That man told me it. that you was his lady. Point blank. How and I asked you about this lady and you stand you will stand with me. If that's the case, why would I have Mr. Dansby, the me? man told you that she was his lady? Yes. And then what did you say? No. I I, I spoke with her about it. I thought he heard So you all voice. just hung up. After that, you hung up, and then that's when you had the conversation yes, with her. Yes, yes. All right, so from at that point, you were on notice there was another man. Another man. You the knew picture. there was some man in the picture in your mind. Exactly. Okay, so how does this translate as, as it moves forward and you find out she's pregnant? Are okay, you... Okay, after the strange phone call, she, we had went to visit her dad in her hometown, where he from, which is Vidalia, Georgia. Okay, we went down there, and she said she was feeling sick that particular day. So and we I went was. to the pharmacy, she went to took a pregnancy, a pregnancy test. Yeah. Okay, and then after that, she said she it came out to find out that she was pregnant. Did you immediately assume you I had were... my doubts. I immediately Right assumed. from the beginning. So if you had right your doubt, the, if, right if you didn't the think back. that this baby was yours, why did you so-called put on like you was happy? Because I didn't want to rain on nobody's parade, Miss Simpson. But don't no, rain. I mean, rain on my parade. Oh, right. I don't you had, want, you had I don't rain on my parade. Miss Simpson, you had me around one, all your family. I don't members. want you giving me this energy that you're happy about this child when you're not happy about this child. So you all were a couple 
having a baby. Right. She told me that this just like like he her. went on and told his. Wait a minute. She what? She man. This Miss Simpson. Miss Simpson stated over the phone that Tanara wasn't none of my child. When did she say this? She, okay, and that came. This was like oh, this was in three months out, b- before he was even born. It was not three months. It was not three months. I had well, hold no on, hold on. Home. I want to understand this. Get me to this conversation three months before the baby was even born where you say she told you the baby wasn't even yours. I asked... We, we, was over the, we were talking over the phone, and um, she somewhat got an attitude with me about the situation. About yes, the I did. I did. I sure you know did. I feel, she had told me... Who want to deal with somebody's child? child? So you got into an argument. We got into an argument and about... And she it. said... She said that tonight wasn't none of my child. And did you say that, Ms. Simpson? Like, yes, I did. Why right. did you say that? Because I don't want to deal you. with that child issue with him. I would rather sit here and go through it by myself than be stressed out about whether or not he's going to play a part in my child life. You had While another man. I mean, you keep bringing up another man. Miss Simpson, did it you? Ain't even were possible, were you man. with anyone else? Were you sleeping with anyone else? It was a possibility of someone else. So, so you admit there was another man? Yes, Your Honor, it was. At what point did you admit to Mr. Dansby that there was another man? It was maybe three months into the pregnancy. So that is the conversation he's speaking about when you said this is not even your child? Yes. Why is it you don't believe anything okay, she said? Okay, the reason why I have my, my, my doubts about Miss Simpson because she a compulsive liar. This is my timeline. For Outlines favorite. all of the lies. All Walk of the me lies. through this. Deceit. I want to understand Everything. this. Everything. We met through a friend. Uh-huh. Okay. In November 2011, that's when you got the old man phone call. Yes, I got the phone call from the old dude. And he was shocked to hear me just like I was shocked to hear from him. All right. Okay. And, and then, moving forward... She announces the pregnancy. Yeah, she, she announced that. She told everyone she was pregnant. I had my doubts about that, about her being so pregnant. So you were doubtful again and felt like there was something shady going on then, yes, too? Yes, it was a lot of shade going on with me. Move people. forward to April 2012. That's when she told you... That's when she told me that I wasn't the father. So now you really questioning. I'm questioning Yolanda, like, a qu- one behind the other. I'm trying to find out whether she, what's the truth. Is okay. she lying to me or not? So now, July 2012, Tenoris is born. Yeah, she, he was born, and she... I was trying to... I, I, I had got in contact with me, so I'm saying, I was trying to find out whether to deal with my son or not. And she told me... Because like, you I, weren't there at the hospital when he was born. No, I was not. It was another man there when, he, when he, she was in the hospital. There was? Yes, yeah, there was. The, the was child, there... The was child, there... Oh, Ms. Simpson, yes, there was? There was. Who is this man? It was the guy that I had been dealing with for a while, and then... We broke it off, and then that's when I started dealing with Mr. Dansby. And then Mm -hmm. me and this guy started back dealing. So, therefore, he stepped up to the plate, and he helped me with my child. All right, so let me jump ahead in this timeline to October 2014. When you say it's the first time you met Tenoris. What was shady about that? That was my first time ever seeing tonight. But I feel like if if she's she's so confident about this, my son, why it took for me to... Why it took... Three years for me to see Tanaris. Okay, but I got evidence that. Okay, we did. You take put a on picture. Facebook. You we put did. on. What there. is that evidence, ma'am? It is a picture of him and Tanaris. I he took the picture. Ron, will you hand that to me, please? This is a picture of. Of uh, me and Tanaris. Yes, Mr. Tenaris. Dansby and Tanaris. Yes. That was my first time ever seeing Tanaris. That, that same day, my family members they seen. But Tenaris. if you didn't think he was your, why would you say like father, like son? I shouldn't have to drive an hour and a half just for him to meet my child. Yes, true. No, you might not have had a car, but at the same time, you could have found a way to come and see this child. You knew where I stayed. Young. You could have reached out through Facebook. Or you, you felt could've... like he wasn't making enough effort. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, it had been several occasions, several times I had tried to reach out to Miss Simpson as far as me and her getting together, sitting down and talking like grown people about Tanaris. She, she, it was all talk, no, no action with Miss Simpson. Miss Simpson stayed and three so hours. So in a away. year, though, Mr. Dance, I stayed three hours now. You couldn't get a ride for an hour and a half or a bus. Time, or... Now, it, judge, Your Honor, it had been times where I had people, I had rides to lined up to take me to visit Miss Simpson and Tanaris. And, and what her would other happen? Two kids. But did you call? Did you try to reach out? Miss Simpson, you did. Did you call? Did, did you try I call? To reach I, it had been plenty of times I had called did you, Miss Simpson. But you didn't say that you wanted to see this child. 
I would call you. That's the only reason I would call on your phone. Okay, like, but so you Mr. Damsey, you think she was, she was dodging you, you? Yes, yes. I really do feel deep down that she was dodging me, man. Dodge you for what? Why? Why would I want to dodge you? Because you, you had been lying to me. child that need a father. So why was I, why would I dodge you when my child need a father? Man, can I? Can I? My dad. My, my dad went there for me when I was a kid. So I take this very like deep. I, as far as I do want to know that. Who his father is. I do want to be his father. Yes, because you don't want that cycle. Because I want, I got three kids of my own. I got three girls. I take care of all my kids. She know that. I don't understand why I don't know, it's Have you stepped, stepped up care. since this picture and you met Tanaris? Have you stepped up to help support him? I mean, yes, I've been supporting Tanaris. Yes. How? Child support? Yeah, child support. Okay. And that just started, but like... it's not okay. about the money. I, I need no, the bond with the, the I need the bond with him if, if he's my son. Okay. So you, you, need, you need to understand it. it. But have, have you bonded with him? No, I have not had the opportunity to bond with tonight. I only seen him one time, man. That's In it. your life? Wow. In my life. Wow. I only seen him one... And that was only for, like, two hours. He don't even know me. He don't... So, he don't know me. The man is saying he wanted to bond with the child. He wanted to be more active in the child's life. It just doesn't seem to add up. Well, I mean, I understand. But I feel like he didn't put as much effort into it to get me to bring my child. Was, because the reason why, because you're right. lying to me. You should never How told me. So, I heard that. As it relates to your suit, you have evidence outlining the expenses you've yes, incurred thus far. I'd like to see that. Jerome, will you hand it to me, please? Please explain to me, Ms. Simpson, the expenses that you've outlined here. Of course, food, bottles. Yes. What else have you bought um, from the child? Clothes, diapers. They total $6,723.12, which is why you're suing for half that amount, because yes, you ma'am. feel like that is what's owed to you. Yes. Because that's what he should have contributed. Now, you understand I can't rule on your suit until it is determined whether or not Mr. Dansby is, in fact, Tenoris's biological father, because he would have no legal responsibility to care for the child financially if, in fact, it is not his biological child. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Dansby, have you made any contribution to the upbringing of this child financially? I know you haven't seen him a lot I mean, thus they, far. They, they, they be taking money out of my check every time I get paid. For tonight. How much have they, they taken taking, out? They be taking a hundred. That one took like by three sixty from me already. Two forty. Two forty. Three sixty. Two forty. Two forty. They don't yes. they don't took money out. All like, I have like, received is two forty. And that so was they took three hundred three hundred and sixty dollars, but you've received two hundred and forty dollars, yeah. ma'am. Okay. Hey, this is my child. Why you haven't brought this man? Let me meet the kid. Let me bond with the kid. If you and know for a fact that my child... And when we get these child, results in... You keep talking about results, but you, you say... When we get these results and it's in print that Sonoris is your... You can have all the time that you want with your child because my child deserves a father. I, yeah, he do this. He didn't ask for none of these. But at the same time, it's, I feel it's though. I feel it's though. And so then, you will not get a bond until I, I get won't this get a, print. That he but you yours. say this my son for sure though. Like you, yes, you confident. He's yours. You one hundred and ten. He's yours. You, you you very confident it's about very this. Very confident that he's yours. Why you won't let me take? The, you you Ms. won't let me. Miss Simpson, me. let me ask you this before I go to these results. Are there any other men we need to know about that you've left out of the conversation? Mr. Dansby has been very clear very. that your facts are sometimes a little shady. And yeah. all the facts aren't always there when you tell a story. Let's just no, say that. Honor, is, right, is there anything that. else you'd like to say in this courtroom today before I go to the results? Once we get these results, I need for you to step up and be a father no to problem. my son. I have no problem with doing that, Miss Simpson. Okay. I would have been stepped up had you would have just kept it real with me. Okay. So, you see what I'm saying? Don't lie to me. Don't do that. So, Miss Simpson, Miss Simpson, what you're saying is that there is no way, no how and no chance that anybody else could be to Norris's father besides Mr. Dansby. No, Your Honor. All right, Jerome, I'm All right. ready for the envelope. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Dansby versus Simpson, 
pertaining to three-year-old Tenoris, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Dansby, you are Tenoris's father. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Well. I've said it this been yeah. many days, and I've asked uh, men to enumerate. Tell me what your doubt is and what it's based on. And there are some times when, you know, men just get in their head that they're not the father, they can't be the father, but they can't talk about and really explain why they're doubtful. In this case, Mr. Dansby, you had a right to be doubtful. I know, man. I mean... You did. And ultimately, Ms. Simpson admitted that. But now we have the truth. I feel, I, I I feel good about the results. I can't up and say, Dad, I'm sorry for all the trouble that I have took you through. So now can we start out to a better start for our child? Sure. No yes! Sure. Yes! I love that. I love that. Sure. Good for you, Ms. Simpson, because that's what this courtroom is all about. Now, in light of today's results, that, in fact, Tanaris is Mr. Dansby's biological child, Ms. Simpson, you are entitled to half of the amount of money that you've spent thus far raising Tanaris. Now, you came to court suing for $3,361.56. Is that correct? Yes. You do acknowledge you've received... $240 thus far from Mr. Dansby, right? Yes, Your Honor. So, for that reason, the court can award you $3,121.56 in child-rearing expenses. Welcome to a very special update edition of Paternity Court. Today, we're taking a break from hearing new cases to bring you updates on some of the litigants you've tweeted and posted about the most. We're talking about the stories you fell in love with, the people you didn't like, or those who just surprised you. One of your favorites was the shocking case of Mo Williams versus Tiffany Sports. Ms. Sports and a previous DNA test told Mo Williams he was not her son's father. But he refused to take no for an answer, so he opened a case in our court to get the truth. I get a text message from a friend she posted, she posted a picture of him on social media. She says, well, I know you told me that y'all had a DNA test and said that he wasn't yours, but I don't care what that test say. I'm looking at this picture and this is your son. How far along were you? Four months. When you had the prenatal test? Four months, Your Honor. So they called me and they told me um, Mo was not the father. She done got a letter in the mail from the same company that said he wasn't mine. They done sent the letter saying he is mine. Whoa! They said it was a clerical error. So you have conflicting paternity results, and that equals paternity doubts. Yes, yes, Sean. Just Honor. to be clear, that is not the laboratory we use here mm -hmm. at Paternity <laughs> Court. <laughs> the paternity test is gonna say that he's mine, and we can move forward, no more back and forth. He is yours, he is not yours, and I'm changing his full name. I just want this to be, you know, proven so he can move on with his life and I can move on with mine. All right. Mr. Williams, you are the father. Oh, Mr. Williams was so relieved to know for certain that Achilles was his son. My staff caught up with him, and there have been some major changes since he left court. Um, first and foremost, I wanted to uh, thank uh, Judge Lake. I was very pleased with the result. Um, the first and the major change that we had was the name change, and uh, his name now is Khalil Williams, and we've also taken the steps to get joint custody and start raising our son together. So thanks, Judge Lake, for getting us the results we needed to start to do that. Mr. Williams and Ms. Sports are taking a mature approach to co-parenting their son, and I'm wishing them all the best. Up next, Carly Gregory brought her ex to court to prove he fathered her son, even after she confessed that she had a threesome with her friend and her friend's boyfriend. Me and Mr. Elston met through my ex at a basketball game. I was dating. Through your ex? I was dating my ex, and he was cheating on me at the time. We started sleeping together two weeks after we met. Well, who else did you have sex with? My friend's boyfriend. <laughs> We had a threesome. She knew about it. 
The baby didn't look like me. He don't have my nose, my ears, my eyes, or nothing. We got engaged in May. He broke up with me two weeks ago because of paternity issues. So I feel that we need to get this all cleared up. And so you broke off the engagement, Mr. Elston, because of this entire paternity saga? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Elston, you are not the father. Mr. Elston claimed he would be there for Carson, but did he keep his promise? Watch this surprising update. Hey, paternity court. After leaving court, me and Ladarian broke up for a week and we got back together and now we are legally married. Me and him have gotten together and we decided that it's best for both of the kids even though he's not Carson's legal father. Right now, I'm currently five months pregnant. He goes to every doctor's appointment and he's been around. We are very thankful for the results. Thank you. I was shocked to hear that Ms. Gregory and Mr. Elston are now husband and wife. Hopefully, that will put an end to all the back and forth and provide their children with a stable two-parent home. This next case was definitely a fan favorite, and I must say, it brought me to tears. For 24 years of my life, not having no mother, losing her when I was four years old, I had to depend on my grandparents to take care of me when I was in need. I would never leave my child stranded if that's my own blood. You cannot consider no man to me. You're a coward. Mr. Ducasse, what was the nature of the relationship with Mr. Gower's mother? When I met his mother, right, she was in a two-year standing relationship, and she made it real clear to me. Secondly, we only had one encounter. You said you just had a one-night stand. Yes. You, why would you not take a paternity test? Number one. There was a lot of maturing that I had to go through as well. What does that have to do with me? Just imagine not being wanted, period. And you're just stranded all by yourself. And you're trying to figure out life, but you gotta learn the hard way. Mr. Gower, you have brought me to tears today. You really have. You know, I sit here every day, and what I try to do is be a voice for kids like you. But I couldn't have said it better than you said it today. Mr. Gower had so much emotion bottled up inside of him, I struggled to hold back my own tears. I'll have an update on this case and more shocking fan favorites when Paternity Court continues. Welcome back, and thanks for joining me for a special fan favorites update edition of Paternity Court. Before the break, Sanchez Gower passionately recalled the difficulties of growing up without a dad. He demanded answers from his alleged father. Emotions were running high, and I was shaking as I opened the envelope to read the results. I need answers. Yes. I need an answer, and I deserve it. I don't know what the results are, what they will be. I'm hoping we can get the answers that you need so desperately. But one thing I do know is that you'll have the truth, and that's why I know you're going to be all right. Mr. Ducasse. You are the father. <laughs> Lord have mercy, Jesus. <laughs> All right now, Mr. Gow and his grandmother about to make me mess up my makeup again. So let's go to their update. We continuing on trying to build our relationship a lot closer now because we talk on a daily basis. My final message for Judge Laker is I thank her for inspiring me to become a better young man. And for that, thank you. Now what could be better than that? Mr. Gower has his father and he's getting to know his extended family. It's results like this that inspires my staff and I to do what we do each and every day. Moving on, here's an endearing case that I still get questions about. Tanya Currington caught Mr. Larson's eye at a hotel, and the next thing he knew, he was in court before me. I met Ian at the hotel. He looked me up and down, because, you know, I had on booty shorts and everything. So he looked me up and down. He was like, ooh, you thick. <laughs> I was attracted to her thickness. Can't make this up. 
he wanted to have a baby by me. And that was that. And now that the baby's here, he denies the baby. Yes, because I'm in another relationship. Oh. oh. Did you plan to have a baby together? Were you trying to have a baby? No, Honor. You were not? No. Were you using protection? No. Then you were planning to have a baby. When she was pregnant, she was with this guy pretty much through the whole term. And I'm still is. Yeah. Getting she's married still too, is. September 1st. Now, Miss Currington's baby looked just like Mr. Larson. But you know it all comes down to the DNA. Stay tuned for a surprising update to this fan favorite and more. We'll be right back. Welcome back to another special Paternity Court Update episode. One of my favorite cases featured Ian Kim Larson and a young woman who claimed he was her daughter's father. Let's go to the results. So, Mr. Kim Larson, are you still in love with Ms. Curran? Yes. <laughs> yes. When it comes to five-month-old Kaora Currington, Mr. Kim Larson, you are the father. <laughs> Dad. Ms. Currington and Mr. Larson were not on the same page in court, and I wondered what would happen when they returned home. I was surprised to receive this update. Okay, hey, everyone. We left court. Me, I've gotten married to another man, moved on with my life. And I'm getting involved with my child, and we decide to co-parent and do what we got to do best for our child. I'm letting him get involved in her life more, and that's that. Ms. Currington married another man. Congrats to her, and it's so wonderful that she and Mr. Larson are working together for their daughter's sake. Now, what do you do if the man you love denied your child and then showed up in court with his new girlfriend? That happened to Ms. Golder, but watch her turn things around. I was there ever since she's been born, off and on for the past nine months. And you truly believe this is your little girl? Yes, Your Honor. You say you're certain? Yes, Your Honor. That he's not Mariah's biological father? I know he is not her father, Your Honor. Do you want to be in a relationship with Ms. Golder? I really would like to work out things with you. I do still love you. <laughs> Mr. Grand Mason, you are not the father. Doesn't mean I can't be your father. You're her daddy. Did the loving feelings last after they'd left court? The short answer from Ms. Golder is, no, they did not. Ms. Golder is pregnant again and claims Mr. Grand Mason is not the father. Wow! Now, in this next case, I was shocked when Ms. McNair hit the floor during the proceedings. Your Honor, Mariah mean the world to me. She's everything to me. She's my heart, she's my all. That's not his baby. You're trying to put this child on my cousin when he, that's not she's his She's his, child. she's his. Was you there when we was conceiving her? No. Were you at the birth? Yes, ma'am, I was. Yes, Your Honor. Did you sign the birth certificate? Yes, Your Honor, I did. Because he's stupid, that's stupid. Just mind your business, baby. Mr. Travis. You are not the father. Can you express to this court, Mr. Trapp? Oh, oh Lord. Jerome, get her. Call the medic. I was so glad that Miss McNair was all right, and my guess is, is the truth was just overwhelming. Mr. Travis was devastated to hear he was not the father. Where are they now, and what happened to their relationship? Hey, everybody. Since we left court, the results was life-changing. Uh, we moved back in together right after court. Now we're working on our relationship, our friendship, and our trust again. We're working on everything, and I think everything's gonna be okay. I must say, their update caught me by surprise. 
However, infidelity doesn't have to spell the end of a relationship. There was no mention of who Mariah's biological father is, and again, my court is available to help. Now, I've saved one of my most talked about cases for last. Ms. Jackson accused her friend's son of getting her pregnant, but his mom wasn't having any of it. He took her to the clinic, she took the test. Okay, we know she's pregnant. I said, now come back and talk to me when you got Dana. I said, let's go see her. But who's Dana? Dana is DNA. <laughs> oh, and that's what we're here for today, to see DNA. Dana, honey. I'm just upset at the fact I knew that she trapped It me. doesn't By the time matter. I it out, it had been too late. Your son is grown. It, it doesn't matter. I you move, girl. You move. All right, well, shut up, Okay, hold on. I don't play with my mama, and you know this. You know this. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hold on. Now, y'all gonna talk over one another, but you ain't gonna talk over me. During the time that I knew her, I've known her to talk to several other men. You admittedly slept with your best friend's son. Her son is grown. Did you caution them and say, listen, not at that time, because I don't have friends that sleep with my damn children. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't That's have right. friends that sleep with my children, so I didn't think nothing of it. And Ms. Robinson, look, I'm, I'm 49, you 48. I'm from that same school. Ain't no friend of mine sleeping with my son. That ain't gonna never happen. I would be furious if any friend of mine ever looked sideways at my son. I mean, really? I'm gonna take a break, and I'll be back with a surprising ending to this case. Welcome back. I'm at the end of today's shocking fan favorites update edition of Paternity Court. In this last case, Vernita Robinson was stunned when her 34-year-old friend claimed she was pregnant by Ms. Robinson's 26-year-old son. But was he the father? Let's go to the results. Listen, she wasn't just sleeping here. When the married man came to talk to my son, it was me, my son, and the dude. I bet you this won't come back. Somebody else been. So wait a minute. You believe that there is a married man somewhere in this yes. picture? who could oh, potentially be the father yes. of Milani. Yes. Mr. Chaplin, you are the father. Oh. Thank you! Thank you! You're in trouble. Thank you! Miss Jackson, Jackson support, you baby! That, Thank you! Miss Jackson, Thank calm you. down. Calm down. Thank you. During the case, Ms. Robinson said she was going to keep it calm and classy. But I wondered if they could all move past the drama that filled the courtroom. The family sent the court this update. Since leaving court, we have all been happy to be a part of our, my daughter's Milani's life. And we are trying to work things out to where we can all be a happy family together. I would like to welcome Milani to the family and look forward to being a part of Milani's life. It looks like this time, Ms. Robinson allowed her son to do the talking, and I take that as a sign that she has taken a back seat in his relationship with his daughter and her mother.